to talk about your afternoon match. It looked like one of those matches you you get up, came back on you, get up, and then you kind of get a little bit of cruise control in the back nine. Yeah, yeah. It started out strong. Matt played uh, you know extremely well all day. It was really uh, a great match. Um, you know, got out there to a steady start, a lot of pars, and then birdie started coming uh, towards I think number eight. I think I birdied eight nine or seven eight nine, and that kind of got me into a nice position where I was just kind of able to hold on and make some good swings. Hit the fairway, hit the green, and I'll keep it easy. You played eight really well today because you birdied eight in your morning round. Just talk about the way you played that hole. What yeah, was your approach there? The whole thing there is, you know, guys have, I think, trouble controlling the spin, so I was just take one more club, uh, knock it down underneath the wind, and uh, you know, try to get a pin high. And I was lucky enough to do that twice and have pretty much the same putt twice in a row from about 12 feet. What's it mean to make it to the final? That's awesome. You know, my goal coming in was to make match play. I think that's pretty much everyone's goal, and then, you know, anything could happen. So, uh, you know, it means a lot. This is, I think, one of the strongest fields, you know, that we can get locally, and it's really nice to be in this company. How have you done in the past cameras? Um, I've never made match play. I, I've okay. missed by a shot or two uh, a few times now, and this was the, the first year I was able to get into the match play. Do you know how many prior years you've tried? I think this is probably my third year. What about your game kind of took you to that level? What allowed you to basically be in the position you're in? I think anybody will tell you it's, it comes down to the putting out here. And uh, I was able to really get the putter going on the, the last 18. Uh, aside from that, you got to hit the fairways out here. The rough's pretty long. And I think you know just keeping the ball in the fairway and, and making some putts has been really helpful. With those all, well, I guess nine was a two putt birdie. And you birdied seven, you said? Yeah, seven. I came up a little bit short in the bunker and uh, ended up hitting a pitching wedge actually instead of a sand wedge. And it came out low and kind of checking. And it was it was a pretty well played shot because Matt had it on in two there. And uh, I was able to eke out in the half, the half that wasn't looking too good to begin with. And then do you feel like you're actually gaining one kind of on the field when you're birdie nine or birdie eight? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, it's only a 100-yard, 110-yard shot, but, you know, it, again, it's really tough to control the spin, and it's certainly nice to watch one go in there. And then nine, you made it in two? Did you make it in two? I did. I, uh, you know, hit a pretty good shot. It got all the way up to the top, rolled all the way back down, and made a nice probably 60-foot two-putt. How far do you have left there in the fairway? Uh, it had about 185. So what's that for you, a six iron? Uh, I hit five today. Uh -oh. That put you, what, two up at the time? Two up. Um, so two up in the semifinal match, are you just kind of, are you just fairways and greens at that point? Yeah, my whole philosophy today was kind of, um, you know, if I can get with that lead, the ball on the green and have a legitimate shot at Verity, it's going to put some pressure on him to uh, make something happen. And, you know, I was lucky enough to get a lot of good Verity looks on, you know, that middle side of the round. What was the key? Matt said he thought the key hole was nine. Do you feel that, or do you think? Yeah, later I, in the I would say two two holes that stick out in my mind are number nine. Uh, Matt really he probably missed his first fairway of the day. He hit it left into the trees and he just struggled to get in from there. And uh, the other hole that was pretty big was 14. He had a really good look at birdie that probably would have got him back in the match. 